everyone, welcome back to your TA Dissection Corner, and today I'm going to show you the major structures of the digestive system, the dogfish shark. Now dogfish sharks are vertebrates that belong to the class chondrichthys, otherwise known as cartilaginous fishes. They have specialized placoid scales which are built into the dermis, almost like a tooth, and if you run your hands along the scales, the dermis feels smooth, but if you go against the layering of the scales, the epidermis feels like sandpaper. Now I've already pre-dissected the shark to reveal the major structures we're going to talk about today. First we will see the heart, which I am pointing to right now. Next I'm going to show you the multi-lobe liver, an extremely large and oily structure. Since the cl this class of animal does not have a swim bladder like teleost or bony fishes, the liver of the dogfish also functions for buoyancy of the animal. And once we get that removed out of the way, we can see the esophagus. which then will lead into our stomach. So again, this is our esophagus leading into the stomach, followed by our small intestine or duodenum. And this is an easily identified structure just because of its characteristic J shape. This dark gray uh, structure here is the spleen. And finally, we move into the large intestine or spiral valve, which I've attempted to dissect open to reveal the many folds of the large intestine. We can see these folds more clearly in the image here, and these are specialized to increase surface area and absorption rates of the intestine. Since the dogfish shark has a fairly short and rather primitive digestive tract, it's important to have more specialized structures like the spiral valve to increase functionality of the system. Now finally, below the uh, spiral valve, which isn't too obvious in this animal, is the rectal gland. Um, but the rectal gland helps to concentrate excess salts and waste for excretion. And that is everything you need to know about the dogfish shark. Thanks for watching!